Okay, we put our junction box together where the Romex converts to the UF cable. Here's where our UF cable goes down into the ground. Okay, so we'll start getting our wire stapled up here. I don't mind it, I don't find it, I'll just grab another. Luckily I found it. like every three, four feet.
Okay, now a little wire over this way. So the power going out is not going out. It's easy to tap it the wrong way. But you know what? You just go back and go play. You don't know, look at it. You don't feel it. It's not going to go. It's not going to go. Twist a twist. You know what? Miss Simone, you don't carry on. Because you know what? It's not going to help you. Not at all. Not one way or nothing is supposed to add something up.
I have another staple, I have one. If I don't, I don't. So it's simple. You don't carry on about it. You test them alone. Okay, I made this Romex connector a little tighter. I got my needle nose under here and I just tightened it up like that so it's nice and tight. So now we can get our wire stripped and read. Hook it up. Rip our ball too. The reason we're putting this into this GFI is because we're out, it's out in a barn and they're going to be using extension cords and plugging in things outdoors. wires. Thank you, Lord, for making me look for stuff. I just love you, Lord. Okay, so we'll get our ground wire. We're bonded to our box and we're bonded to our device here. So we'll wrap it into here. Get it into here like that. stripper. If you're in the country I was born in, your black is live, your white is neutral. Except for in a switch loop, you may find the white live. Or on a 240 volt circuit where the appliance does not require a neutral. And in a switch loop when it's live, you got to put a marker on it to mark it. So we'll shut this off and lock it up. I just shut off the three new breakers that are in there to make sure it's off. So uh, when you look at the back of your GFI, it will say line and it will say load. Now we're, this is going out to the garage is our load. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my wire, hold it up to the back of our device and check our strip. If I can make that slightly longer so we get a nice clip under the uh, pressure plate. Open up our load side here, and we'll put our black load onto our load side, and we'll push it in. Now I see just a little copper sticking out there, so I'll take a little off. Just a very little bit. Uh, that much was sticking out. There, if you look closely, you'll see that the uh, insulation is going up to the uh, bottom of the plastic there, so we'll just tighten our screw up. Make sure it's nice and tight. And we'll come over here, and we'll get our white wire screw opened up here. We'll make sure it's long enough. Hey, that's a perfect length right there. See how our copper just meets the uh, bottom of our pressure plate? 
put it in our load side hole. Get in on this one here. Make sure it's tight. Use our flathead to torque it down. Okay, now we can fold our wires back into our box here. We'll shape them so that they go in without stress. Bend them a little bit here so they go in without stress. We'll keep our ground wire down on the bottom here. Put our our device into the box, make sure our wires are clear of the screws that hold the device in. Okay, I'll just look. Good way to staple. That screw's not hitting, that screw's not hitting. Okay, let's make sure our Romex connector is tight, and we'll get one last staple right here. And now we'll just stick our cover on. Okay, so now we'll go flip our breaker on, test our GFI, and go out in the barn and see if we have power. Okay, this little amber light means it's tripped from our test, so we'll push the reset button and it is ready to go. Peace. Thanks for watching.